Let's talk about collagen for a couple of minutes. Collagen is very confusing to people because we've been told this bad information that the type of collagen you take in matters. So you see marketing people saying things like, well, our collagen has type 1, type 3, type 4, or some combination like that. Well, that's really not very important. It's not important at all, in fact. What is important is the relative content of what are called di and tripeptides. These are peptide fragments. You see, for many years, people thought that collagen was no different from any other protein. So if you eat the protein of an egg, say, or a piece of hamburger, your body's digestive system breaks those proteins down into single amino acids. So why would collagen be any different? And why would it have any kind of benefits beyond that of eating an egg or a piece of beef? Well, it's become clear with more recent science that collagen is indeed unique in that it has sequences of amino acids that cause it to be digested into fragments, not amino acids. There is some Parts of the protein are digested down to amino acids, but there are other parts that are broken down to no more than two amino acids or three amino acids long, peptide fragments. So one common one, for instance, is called the glyprohip, glycine, proline, hydroxyproline, tripeptide, three peptide, three amino acid sequence. And these di and tripeptides are resistant to digestion. That is, we don't have the enzymes. We don't have the digestive enzymes that are able to break down those sequences. And so those di and tripeptide sequences go to the various organs of the body. In the skin, it goes to the dermal layer and provokes formation of collagen. So these di and tripeptide collagen fragments in turn go to the dermal layer of skin and provoke formation of more collagen. By the way, does this other parts of the body also? So those di and tripeptides also go to the cartilage in your joints, like your knees and hips, and provoke formation of new cartilage. And it has other beneficial effects throughout the body, like in the aorta. But in the skin, we get thicker dermal layer we get more collagen deposition. See, people have damaged their collagen, right? Mostly due to sun exposure and from diet. Remember the issue of glycation? Whenever your blood glucose goes above 100 milligrams, as it would say, with a bowl of oatmeal or a bowl of ice cream, foods that raise blood glucose cause rapid and irreversible glycation of collagen. That is glucose modification of collagen. Now collagen is very susceptible to this process of glycation. And when it becomes glycated, it becomes brittle and fragments, breaks down to little pieces. And then there's an enzyme in the dermal layer, it's called matrix metalloproteinase, that then cleans it up. It takes away the collagen. So over the years, between a bad diet that raises blood glucose and excessive sun exposure, you break down the collagen. You've seen people like this, right? They have crepey skin and their skin is very thin. Well, Taking collagen is your way to rebuild that collagen. It's one of the very few times we have a chance to get a do-over. So we're going to take collagen. In this case, I chose marine source collagen peptides. Not because it's better or, or, or superior, but because marine source collagen peptides, there's evidence to tell us that they're as effective, effective as bovine, porcine, or chicken sources of collagen, other sources, at about a tenth of the dose. And that's because the marine source collagen is enriched in those dye and tripeptides. I wanted to be able to put this into a capsule, so that's why we chose marine sourced collagen peptides, so you could fit it into a capsule. If you use bovine, where the effective dose is somewhere between 10 and 20 grams, uh, you really can't fit that into a capsule. That's typically a large scoop, and that's just too much. So it's not to say that marine source is more effective or better. It's as effective at a much lower dose. And you're getting those di and tripeptides that are the active ingredients resistant to digestion that provoke formation of collagen in the dermal layer of skin and other body parts.